Hey everyone, welcome back in the Mountain Dog Companion, hanging out with Callie and Firestone's puppies. Uh, they're, they were born on uh, February 25th, and they're going to be ready to go home on the 21st of April. So these guys are doing great, about five weeks old, and we just did a YouTube video, did some pictures, uh, or we're doing a YouTube video for you guys, and did some pictures earlier. Um, they're coming along great, and I just wanted to give everyone a better feel for these guys before we... Uh, get into the litter picks. So I'm uh, really looking forward to kind of doing today's video here for you. I'm really excited to kind of get each family on this list to pick out their puppy um, and kind of take it from there. Okay, starting things off, we got uh, boy number one. His name's Sparky. Um, he's the smallest one in the litter. So phenomenal looking guy or smallest boy in the litter. Um, he's got a little bit of a collar wrapping around the side, a high left sock here up front and then the right kind of has that more uh, kind of got the, the toes covered, kind of the foot covered, and then more tan on, on that paw as well. So uh, phenomenal looking guy. He's pretty outgoing, very confident, um, just a little bit more outgoing and playful. Um, he'll check everything out. He's very attentive, so very snappy. He'll check everything out, take everything in, uh, kind of find a spot and, and kind of do, do that, that part of it. So I got one climbing up on my lap here. Um, phenomenal guy. I'd say he's like medium to higher energy um, if you're asking about Sparky. Um, and then moving on, we got Mr. Dirk. Um, he is one of the bigger boys. Um, he, play, he weighs 4.10 pounds. So uh, Sparky here, he's 4.56. Uh, Mr. Sparky, um, so a little bit uh, heavier, about a half pound heavier. Um, and a little bit more laid back, a little bit more reserved, chilled out. Um, just a little bit of a lower drive for him. Um, I would say still super confident. He'll check everything out. Uh, one thing I've really noticed about him is he'll really just sit down and kind of take everything in um, and kind of get a good feel for his environment. Now one thing you'll notice is he's kind of got an extended blaze up top. Um, so it kind of comes down, wraps around the side, almost connects to his collar or to his tuxedo up front. It's a phenomenal looking guy. These guys uh, markings are absolutely, I mean, they're about as perfect as it gets. Uh, beautiful tan, beautiful white, everything's super like symmetrical and just uh, a phenomenal look here for, for everyone really. So moving on, I'm going to go through, you got a whole, whole lap full of puppies over there, Angie. I do. <laughs> I don't want to move, but my foot is starting to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we got Miss Sydney. Um, she's one of the smaller girls. She weighs 3.84 pounds, so kind of right in the middle. She's got a little bit more weight, so she's got an extended blaze up top leading into like a huge Swiss kits, kind of a patch there up top, uh, white tip tail, and then a little bit more of those higher socks and a huge tuxedo up front. One of the more outgoing, playful girls in the litter. She's pretty mobile. She's pretty active. Um, right now, I mean, we did pictures and everything, so they're tuckered out, they're taking it easy, um, they're taking naps, and she just wants to curl up. I'll just put her right here, she'll probably fall asleep here in a second. Um, but yeah, she's one of the more outgoing, one of the more playful pups here in the litter. Um, moving on, got another one hanging out behind me. Taking it easy. Um, who do we have here? So we got Piper. Um, now she's a little bit heavier, a little bit girthier. Um, so a little bit of a heavier set, white socks front and back, and this is a perfect, like the blaze and the socks and everything. The head structure, overall just a phenomenal look. Nice white patch up top. See her stretching out for you. Love her look. Phenomenal looking girl. One of the more laid back cuddle bugs out of the litter. I mean, she, she'll relax pretty well. She'll flip on her back. She'll take it easy. Um, she's pretty content. Um, so super sweet girl here. Again, that's Piper. Um, Piper weighs 3.96 pounds. So like I said, a little bit heavier set, a little bit girthier. So that's where kind of a lot of that weight comes from. Uh, so you kind of get a little bit of a heavier pup. Yeah, this is Ego. So Ego, he's one of the heavier males. He weighs 4.28 pounds. So definitely one of the heavier ones. A little bit less weight. So you kind of got a thinner white blaze in between his eyes, white socks front and back, and that white tuxedo. So a phenomenal look. Um, just a little bit heavier. So he could, I mean, he could potentially be like 45, um, 45 to 50 pounds even just with his like girthy 
heavy set. So I know our range for uh, these pups, like Firestone puppies in general, um, is typically between 35 and 45 pounds, even 30 to 45 pounds. But sometimes your males can reach up to 50 pounds. I've yet to see them reach more than 50 pounds, but um, they, they can get a little bit heavy um, just because of their build. They kind of get a little bit more of that Bernice Mountain Dog DNA and <laughs> get a little bit heavier. So, uh, but yeah, going through Ego here, by the way, he is the most, I would say the laziest, most relaxed guy, a little bit more, more chilled out, still super confident. These guys are all very confident, very much, I mean, in tune with everything. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, they're doing great. Um, but he's just a little bit more laid back, a lower energy in general. Okay, moving on to uh, the last four. We got four more puppies. I think we got everyone. So this is Pudge here. Then we got the four remaining pups we want to talk about right here in Angie's lap. So got it figured out. It's a little bit much to keep track of. Everyone's kind of moving around, trying to find their spots. Uh, Mr. Pudge here, white socks front and back, white tip tail. And then you got an extended blaze up top of the Swiss Kiss. Phenomenal looking head structure. I mean, he's going to be a phenomenal looking guy. Um, love his coat as well. Uh, really coming through a little bit more wavy um, than some. So a little bit of a heavier wave going on. And I would say he's medium, like very middle of the road. Super confident, but not the most outgoing, not the most playful, um, but also not the biggest couch potato, not the biggest cuddle bug. He is just kind of right in the middle. So he, he kind of knows when to turn it off. He knows when to kind of take it easy. But he also knows when to have a good time, so um, he'll he'll definitely kind of fit in with whatever situation he needs to fit in. And but look at that guy! I mean, phenomenal looking boy here. Um, so that's the last boy. I think we're we're through the boys, and we got Phoebe, um, Raya, and Piper left. I think no Petra, Petra. Yeah, yeah. This is Raya. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. So we got Miss Raya here, one of the bigger girls. Um, she weighs 4.13 pounds, so definitely a little bit of a heavier set. Um, we got the white socks front and back, kind of an extended white sock here on the left um, with a little bit less tan, just a touch of tan coming through, kind of overlapping down. And then the right has a more uh, kind of that foot covered. Got the extended blaze kind of all the way over top, almost like a mohawk and just an overall very phenomenal looking girl. Out of the girls, I would say she is probably leaning more towards that laid back. One thing I've really noticed about her is her confidence. Super confident, very like, she'll stand, her tail goes right up. She's like auto automatically checking everything out. So super confident girl. She's really in tune with everything. Um, now, as far as energy, I would say, I mean, probably, gosh, medium, middle of the road, but just very very confident and and that's one thing i re really like looking for especially with um a puppy this age i mean mm -hmm. just that confidence is is key 100 percent. so phoebe here she weighs 3.60 pounds um, so a little bit of a smaller frame a little bit more petite um, overall white tip tail white blaze white socks front and back overall just a really nice looking girl here that tan really pops off of her face as well. Um, so phenomenal looking girl. One of the more outgoing girls as well. A little bit more outgoing, a little bit more playful, a little bit more energetic. Um, so she'll have a good time. She kind of knows when to have a good time. And, um, but like I said, I mean, Firestone puppies, I've said it multiple times. I've said it, I'll say it again. They tend to be a little bit more laid back. Like they have a more content, more laid back, more just a little bit more of a chilled out personality. Um, whereas sometimes you'll see Bernadoodles have like a very kind of a, a high strung, maybe a little bit more anxiety driven um, temperament. Um, and it's because of their bloodlines and kind of the breeding uh, behind it. And it also kind of refers back to um, your, your parents' DNA. Last but not least, we got Miss Phoebe, or not Phoebe, Petra. Um, a little bit heavier set, a little bit stockier. She's got pretty big paws here. Um, that's one thing I've noticed. Big paws, um, big stocky set, a little bit more, uh, kind of heavier. Um, she weighs 3.82 pounds. Um, she's got a huge collar wrapping around, almost connecting up top. Phenomenal looking girl here. Um, then we got the white tip tail. Overall, great looking girl. She's the most laid back out of the girls, most chilled out. 
Um, just more relaxed, more easygoing, still confident, just a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more just content. Um, so a little bit more of a cuddle bug. So if that's what you're looking for, maybe a little bit more of a laid back puppy, she might be the one for you. So um, again, this is Callie and Firestone's litter. They were born on February 25th. They'll be ready to go home on April uh, 20, 21st. Um, and they're all doing great. So if anyone has any questions for me about this litter um, or any questions in general about availability, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out. Uh, my name is Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion. My number is 330-234-0102. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and we'll see you next time.